Hi, y'all. It's our last day of the week, which means we only have one more book left. And if you remember from yesterday, we learned about kangaroos. So we learned about kangaroos, and now we're going to try and contrast or tell the differences between kangaroos and gorillas. So I'm going to pull that book up. I learned a lot of fun things about gorillas from this book. I thought I knew a few things about gorillas. I've learned a couple of things about gorillas. I'm excited to share it with you. This book is by Animal Safari, and it's all about gorillas. And here's our table of contents. It tells us what are gorillas on page four, what gorillas eat on page eight, troops on page 10, baby gorillas on page 16, our glossary is on page 22, and if you want to learn more, it's on page 23, and then our index, which gives us those important words that we can search for, and that's on page 24. What are gorillas? Gorillas are the largest primates on earth. And I see this word primates is bolded, so when we get to the very end, I'm wondering what primates means. Gorillas, they live in forests and on mountains. They build nests in trees and tall grass. So this, in, this page tells us a lot. It gives us really important facts. It tells us where they live and how they live. So it tells us that, they, that gorillas live in forests and mountains. And it tells us how they live. It says they build nests. Kind of like, and when we think the word nest, we think of like a bird. A bird makes nests. And we know that birds nests, they make out of twigs and leaves and feathers and anything else that they can wind around. But do you think gorillas live in birds nests that are the size for birds? Or do you think that they make bigger nests that maybe they can fit inside? Yeah, I think they make big nests too. Otherwise, they wouldn't fit in those little itty bitty bird nests. They got to make a big nest that they can fit in. And I think they might, it says they build nests in trees and in tall grass. So in the trees, they might just make, in what it makes nests, it's just an area that they live in that is surrounded by maybe the same thing. Like maybe they have branches that they nestle around and leaves and some soft things that they can lay on. It says gorillas is what gorillas eat. Gorillas eat many kinds of plants. They also eat insects and worms. So here we see Mr. Gorilla, he's eating some leaves, but he also eats insects like ants, and he also eats worms. Because I bet you there are lots of insects on these leaves when he's eating them, and he's not gonna sit and pick them off. He's just gonna eat the grass. He's gonna eat the plants, whether they have worms or insects on them. Troops. A group of gorillas is called a troop. A troop can have five to 30 gorillas. So now we know that this is a troop of gorillas. So there's lots of gorillas together. That's called a troop. Older males have silver hair on their backs. The strongest male is the troop leader. So we see the silver on this male gorilla's back. And he's the strongest gorilla in that troop. So he's the leader. The leader decides where the troop eats, sleeps, and moves. He also protects the troop. Now, when I hear that word protect, I think of another animal that we just read about last week that protected his group, and that was the lion. His li the male lions protected their pride, and they chased away all anything that might cause danger to his tribe. So he, now I know that a gorilla leader does the same thing. He'll protect his troop because he's the leader and he's the strongest. He's going to make sure that his troop is safe. Baby gorillas. Oh, isn't he so cute? 
A female gorilla has one baby every three or four years. The baby rides around on its mother's back. There's our baby gorilla. It sleeps with its mother at night. Snuggle up, gorillas. So now we know that the babies never leave their mom's arms or their backs. They always get carried around. Okay, here's our glossary. We had three bold words on there. Insects. So insects are small animals with six legs and a hard outer body. Insect bodies are divided into three parts. So the one insect that we know for sure is the ant, because it had a picture of that one. Ooh, primates. Now, this was the word that I wanted to wait for the glossary to try and give me uh, a definition of, so that way I would know what a primate is. It says a primate are animals that use their hands to grasp food and other objects. Primates are related to humans. So a gorilla uses its hands to grab things, just like other monkeys. All the other monkeys are primates too. They use their hands to help them and grab things. And a troop is a group of gorillas that live together. The largest, strongest male in the troop is its leader. All right, if you want to stop our video, stop and go back and reread that so that way you have that information nice and fresh in your brain again, you can. Otherwise, I'm going to just pull up our assignment so we are all looking at the same thing. And let's see, our second side is here. We filled out the kangaroo side yesterday. So we know where kangaroos live. We know if they travel in groups. We know uh, if the kangaroo berries, babies are walking right away if they're carried. And we know what kangaroos eat. Now I want to learn the same thing about gorillas. I want to know where do gorillas live? Hmm, what did our book say about where the gorillas live? And you, if you're not sure, you can always go back in your story so that way you can find out. Now I wanna know, do gorillas travel in groups? If they do, circle yes. If they don't, circle no. So then I wanna know the same thing. What are gorilla babies? Do they walk right away or are they carried? And then I wanna know what do gorillas eat? Once we filled out all that information, we're gonna do the same thing as we did with our other our other two that when we compared them, or when we contrasted them, figuring out how they're different, how they're not the same, we're gonna circle those ones that are not the same. So do kangaroos and gorillas live in the same place? If they do, you're gonna leave it. If they don't live anywhere near each other and they're different, I want you to circle that one. So that way I know those two are different. Uh, do kangaroos and gorillas travel in groups? If they both do, that means they compare to each other and you're just gonna leave it alone. If they don't and they're different, you're gonna circle it. Now, and then I wanna know, do kangaroo and gorilla babies walk right away or are they carried? If they're both carried or if they both walk right away, you're gonna leave it alone because they compare. If they're different, you're gonna circle it. And then I wanna know, what do kangaroos eat? What do gorillas eat? Do they eat the same things? Do they compare or are they different? And if they eat different things, I want you to circle it so that way I know that you know that it's different. All right, then we're gonna be done with this type of comparing and we're gonna move on. Next week, we're gonna get a little bit harder because we're gonna combine comparing and contrasting all together into one. I'm excited for that. We worked on comparing uh, one week. Now we've worked on contrasting. Now we're gonna try and put them together and see if we can't uh, do it in something called a Venn diagram where it's two circles and they, and they go together. I'll explain that more or less next week. Oh, I just get so excited sometimes. <laughs> when you're all done, go ahead and submit this into EDSV. I can't wait to see uh, what you've done. And if you need any help, you always know how to reach me. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Bye, my dears.